it going? Welcome back to the weekend venture. I feel like I haven't done the weekend venture in forever, but today we are back on it. We find ourselves starting off the day in Newlands in Cape Town, but we are going to be going on a trip with Luxury Africa, that company I did the Sand Dunes tour with a few weeks ago. But today we're going to be going off to the winelands of Cape Town and we're going to be doing some really epic stuff. So I can't wait to bring you guys along and it should be a really fun day. So let's get it going. So we have made it to the first location of the day and we find ourselves at the Rupert Estates out in Franschhoek and apparently this is the second richest family in South Africa which is absolutely crazy and today we're going to be checking out their classic car motor collection so there's a whole museum full of classic cars that we're going to be checking out today From what we've been told so far there are about 80 cars in this whole museum and just already the history of these cars is absolutely crazy I found out that the one car oh got to stabilize on at the moment that car over there is the oldest Ford in Africa and it was one of the first Fords ever to be exported out of America we also have the Ford Model T uh, which was the car that changed the world so that was the first mass-produced car and we, we've only gone through like five cars so far so still got some other epic stories to come but I hope you guys are enjoying the cinematic sequences because we still have three other buildings to go to so this is insane <laughs> And it was so interesting there's just so much history inside of that place but we still have three other buildings to go to and I assume the cars will just get more modern as we go along so look forward to that as well so so epic I don't think I've ever seen so many beautiful and rare cars in one place at the same time I feel like all I want to do now is just watch Fast and Furious 1 2 I don't even know what number they are now but just all of them also I don't even want to know how much the value of all of those cars is combined it's just absolutely crazy <laughs> taking a drive around the estates in this classic old school Bentley because why not? Also, another fun fact, he literally has his own racetrack to race around these cars. It's just crazy and he has a 4x4 track so a track for every single vehicle that he owns. It is pretty cool though, I'm not gonna lie and everything is kept in such good condition and this place is so beautiful. If you step into his world with his mind, you will see it quickly change into a beautiful, exciting world of fantasy. Our next stop of the day is at the beautiful Boschendal Wine Estate and we are going to one of the best restaurants in the Winelands area called the Fab Restaurants. 
for lunch, so that's gonna be amazing as well. Just a day filled with extreme luxury by Luxury Africa. Mmm, so good. That lunch was so good. So I had the lamb and it was just cooked to perfection. Everything today is just so good, not to mention the location. Look at this backdrop that we get to look at while eating lunch. And now we are going to go for another drive to Franschhoek and go check out the town for a bit, which is kind of that way next to the mountain. So just more epic stuff to come. Dead. We are now in the beautiful Franschhoek Valley surrounded by the mountains of Franschhoek and we are going into another wine estate. I can't remember the name right now, but we are going to go check out this art exhibition that's happening, a famous South African sculptor. So that should be pretty cool. Also, I'm busy walking on the road right now because I took a shot of the car driving in here for the other video that I'm making for Luxury Africa. So that's why I'm walking in the middle of the road. But it's been a really good day and it still isn't done. There's just more surprises each and every minute. So if any of you are wondering, these sculptures are by an artist called Anton Smith and to be honest they are some of the most beautiful sculptures that I've ever seen. I think maybe some of my favourite, like these faces over here along with the bigger faces on the grass are just amazing. All I can do is respect it, but why'd you want to be around me in the first place? She said, baby, I've been down since third grade, you were satisfied with first base, and I've been widely known to be providing earthquakes, you must not have heard. She likes the shark print with the zip up, high hats with the hiccups, dark tints on a pickup, pineapples and liquor, she moved with the machine. Play the game to change it. This is how it is to be. This is what I'm made with. This is love. All right, so after that incredibly scenic road trip, we have finally made it back to the very place where we started this morning back in Newlands. And I just want to give a quick thank you to Patrick, who is the founder and basically runs Luxury Africa. So thank you so much for this amazing experience. Yeah, it was a pleasure. Absolute and pleasure. the dunes last time as well. Just can't thank you enough. Hopefully they're going to get better and better. That's the, hope that's so the too. whole thing. <laughs> and then also we have Casper in the back here, who is the assistant tour guide. So so hopefully he'll be taking us around. training. <laughs> hopefully he'll be taking us around a lot more as well. Come on, I love it. Yeah, so looking forward to more adventures. Awesome, bring Thank them on. So Till next time. Cool. Cheers, bud.